Good afternoon. Welcome to the Cathedral Basilica of St. James. Today is Wednesday in the third week of Easter. The opening hymn is number 601, Christ is Alive. Number 601, verse, verse 4. Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon and happy Easter still. Good to see all of you. My name is Father Mark. I'm an Oratorian father from nearby Oratory parishes of Assumption and St. Boniface, and a real pleasure to be able to celebrate with you this afternoon on the Wednesday of the third week of Easter. As we continue our liturgy, we call to mind our sins those times that we have not remembered the risen Christ in our midst, and we ask God for pardon and for peace. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now, those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. 
Thus, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. But there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry. Let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I shall not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of the Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus says, Whoever comes to me, I shall not turn away. It's a statement that reveals the welcoming nature of the Lord's presence. Those who come to him will find a welcome from him. The opening invitation of Jesus in this Gospel is, Come and see. He invites people to come to him, and he promises to those who do so that he will never turn them away. What a comfort. What a wonderful knowledge of who Christ is for us. In this, he is being true to God's will, which is, according to the Gospel reading, that all who see the Son and believe in him shall have eternal life. Is that not the nature of the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist? It's as the source of life and as the one who can satisfy our deepest hungers and thirsts that Jesus invites people to come to him while assuring them that they will never be turned away if they do come. You know, it's said of Saul in the first reading that he was working for the total destruction of the church. Saul sought to destroy all who responded to the welcoming invitation of Jesus. There are always going to be forces in our world that are hostile, that make it harder for us to come to Jesus. Yet, the later experience of Saul suggests that not only does the Lord welcome those who come to him, but actually, he seeks them out, and he seeks out those who are hostile to him. Saul eventually came to Jesus because Jesus went after him. The Lord welcomes us when we come to him, and he also seeks us out when we stray far away from him. And when we don't come to him, he comes after us, not in anger, but in love. He is always driven by God the Father's will that all should see the Son and believe in him so that we may all have eternal life. Filled with joy this Easter season, we bring our petitions before the Lord. For the Church and her ministers throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit embolden their faithful witness to the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For our nation and all those who serve in government positions, may the Lord promote peace and unity in their hearts and their daily work. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are hungry in body, mind, or spirit, may Jesus, the bread of life, fill them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for this community of faith. May God inspire us in withstanding any trials we face as we share our faith with love. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Let us pray to the Lord. Especially we pray for Joseph Jimenez, for whom this Mass is offered. May they come to share in that baptismal promise. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, hear the needs that we have brought before you this day. We ask this through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice of your enemies. Be the glory of his name. Lord, the good of the Holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Robert our Bishop, all the clergy and religious and all those who minister in your church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. James, St. Philip Neri, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom of God and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. number 931 I am the bread of life number 931 verses 1 2 and 4 I will. 
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. So may you live number 582. I know that my Redeemer lives. Number 582, verse 3.